I am 64. And I will be 71 on June 27th. And I'm 52. Right. 71 is a number that I certainly can't relate to in any way. It's some old lady somewhere, somebody's grandmother. I think the perfect image in the fashion industry is that maybe five to six year period of time in a woman's life where her skin has no age on it, where she's really the most insecure and she's really the most vulnerable that they portray as the ideal woman. As a black woman, you could be 20 to 50. Like how old really is Halle Berry? And it's still like, oh girl, you look good for your age. But you're almost expected to. When I turned 21, I really freaked out. And my mother, in her wicked sense of humor, said to me, Norma, sit down, I want to talk to you. And she said, it's all downhill from here. And I was like, what? I had flawless skin and I was pretty good looking when I look back at the pictures. I felt I was not pretty. The irony is I feel more beautiful today than I did then. When I was in my 20s and could wear a leotard as an outfit, I was insane. I mean, I was happy too. I was like a club girl, I, but, but I was really neurotic. I was really thrown when I accepted my pregnancy. I was 20, almost 27 years old. They were all very concerned that having a baby, I was gonna somehow lose my mojo, my hip, my fly, and I, I was too. But it was the first time in my life I let go. When I was in my 30s, went back to work, one day my boss looked over and he says, oh, you're getting gray. I panicked and proceeded to try to dye my hair. And I had met a young man who hated the blonde. He's now my husband and we just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Yay. I can tell you that many, many women who see me in the street and they'll make a comment, oh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm thinking about letting, I said, go for it. I work out seven days a week and I'm also super competitive. So I like being in a class. I'm usually three times older than everybody in the class. I'm still experiencing this thing that when I walk down the street or I walk in a room, I don't get the same reaction from men. You know, there's this um, mm -hmm. thing that you're kind of used to, like the recognition. Like, I see you. This young man who's 15 years younger than I am, beautiful actor, whatever, is completely like, it's like completely enamored with me. And there's a part of me going, like, why, why? Why is he like all smitten with me? So it's interesting that first I'm going like, why don't they see me? And then they see me, I'm like, well, why me? And he's like, yo, but you are fucking fascinating. I probably dated every wrong guy for me, you could imagine, and actually just sort of chalked it off that that's not for me. When I turned 65 around that time, um, my best friend, said that he had somebody he thought I should meet and he introduced me to my soulmate. I am blessed to have my mother still with me who is going to be 90 next year. I can see where I am going um, and it's beautiful. There's still no preparing yeah. for a different face. I remember the first time I had my aunt saw me on television and she said, you look just like your mother. And I was so happy. I'm just now actually starting to feel physically beautiful. My face needs to be able to tell the truth. And if I do something that stops it from telling the truth, then it's not healthy for me. Would I change anything? No. Would I go back to that particular age at this point? No. Because I have wisdom and I have comfort and I have clarity. I like peace of mind. I never knew that that was sexy. Like being peaceful is hot to me now. There isn't anything that I feel I couldn't do, quite frankly. I know it sounds arrogant, but I never would have said that if I were younger, would I? When the massacre happened in Charleston, I did the news the, the next morning. I called 
the terrorist a terrorist. And I was the first person to call him a terrorist on television. And this is a white, blonde, American boy who fit all the criteria of a terrorist. I would have never done that in my 20s because I would be so concerned about whether they would have me back. My days are no longer um, striving and, and, and pushing and you know going on to the next thing or climbing the corporate ladder. And my days are what is given to me and making the best of each and every one of them. And I don't know what tomorrow may bring. You know, some of us don't even get an opportunity to age. My name is Norma Kamali. My name is Michaela Angela Davis. My name is Joe Johnson. And I'd like to dispel the myth that you have to be young to have a voice.